about to find out right now what kind of horseman dragon this is. Oh, Was he playing that same card back before? He changed his card back. Oh, it didn't glitch. Good shit. Oh, okay. So it is a either patron or wargan yeah. type deck. It might be the um, the arcane golem. This is the patron arcane golem deck. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Lies apparently, this deck itself, illegal. like the uh, uh-huh. patron arcane golem, people say that. Although, like, it says it has a good matchup against almost each and every deck out there right now. You just need to, it's just hard to play. Yeah, it, it's super complicated. Yeah. Like, you have to think about playing eight or nine cards in one turn, mm-hmm. and you have to figure out the correct ordering of doing it, or yeah. you might just lose. Yeah. Like, even so fares like, well against Control Warrior, although this deck goes into fatigue earlier, like, the amount of damage you can, you can put out in one turn is actually a lot Well, okay. There's a rule to it. Yeah. It's good against the control warrior if the control warrior doesn't have brawl. But then that's always how patron has yeah. faced against the control warrior. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look, we're seeing the uh, the two drop in the this uh, discard yeah. this time around. Yeah, you ca- you kind of might... need it if you're running silverware golem. Yeah, the, it, like it makes it so you could justify it a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, the name of the card is Darkshire Librarian. Yeah. Battle cry, discard a random card, and battle uh, death rattle, draw a card. So, mm-hmm. like, you get some insane value with the Mechadar's Imp, which is currently in hand. Oh, and the Silverware Golem, so much value. Yeah, I know. Next turn, <laughs> he can instantly go off. Hopefully, he top decks another Mechadar's Imp and gets to draw two cards off that and gets to play the. Okay, so there's two really good draws, right? The second imp or the second silver golem? I have my fingers crossed. I want to see this happen. I want to see this happen. Abuse of Sergeant just as good. Oh man! So you instantly get to draw one free card oh, and man. you get That's the silver disgusting. golem out of play. That's this disgusting. is the dream. This is this the is snowball the that everybody's been looking for. And he gets a one drop out of the deal. Wow. <laughs> this is what people want. This is what this was designed for. It's beautiful. One, ah. Once in a lifetime, you know. Play both uh, pyros here. No, no, no. You and then you just trade. Pyro. Well, if you play both pyros here, you only have to do the um, yeah. the inner rage on the not him, but the the golem, the mm-hmm. silverware golem, and then you trade in your goal into the councilman. Then that would be a full board clear, including the uh, one one. Mm-hmm. And now you have to execute, and you still lose your goal or your goal as well. Yeah. You need to trade it into something. So but, I actually feel like it might have been fine just losing your... No, I I, th- I feel like that's a misplay if you're planning to play Execute. You should have just enraged the um, the uh, Silverware Golem. So yeah, either way. Yeah, yeah, either way. Like, ask for removal. That was you, it would have been better to do that. Yeah, way yeah so it's a But he's move. keeping it. Still gets it, and he still has a turn. Mm-hmm. He's kind of hoping to draw it to that second value. Wait, yeah. This is the correct ordering. I'd probably just hold out the Soulfire. You have additional value and you kind of want to use it to kill off anything that might stop you from attacking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting, very interesting lineup. Yeah. Right there. That was a really good top deck. <laughs> now you actually get to trade it to the Juggler and kill the Silver World Golem. So you're not taking the three additional damage and you have something that potentially trades in with the Imp. I think I would also play the Pyromancer, because like this is zoo, you do want to kind of have some tempo to deal with the board. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he doesn't have enough mana because he armors up. I, I was thinking like potentially you just forget armoring for the turn. Yeah. Tap, 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 a lot of people tend to not tap first. No, See, look, I, no, I guess like you're scared. He wouldn't have had to follow you. Yeah. Scared of what? Yeah, I don't know, like dropping another card. I think this is a good card. turn to just use Soulfire now. Yeah. You lose out on one damage, but no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> These cards on board is gonna smash. Oh. Patron. Don't have an activator. Feels bad, man. Probably just drop okay, down so... the uh, Arcane Giant. Yeah. This is probably the only opportunity you're gonna have until it gets cheaper in cost. So if that's going to be the case, I'd rather have an 8-8 on board now. But that Voidwalker does deal with it quite well. Yeah. Uh, what Santi Phoenix really needs is like uh, an activator for this. Uh, oh, the Soulfire would, Soulfire. Soulfire would be great with a ping to the face. Okay, Corruption's just going to guess. <laughs> that's about as good as he's going to get. Yeah. 
It's still pretty disgusting. Yeah, it's still pretty disgusting to think about it. He it might, he might... So... <laughs> yeah. So a one cost spell, um, well, one would be sick here with the pyro and the wow. or the patron. None you know, I'm probably gonna build that the patron deck after this. I want to see how it goes. Astonishing. Astonishing. And we already know that the imp is gonna trade in it, but he's dead. Yeah, he's dead anyways. So five, six, seven, eight, and then Argus finishes off the extra damage that he needs for lethal. Oh, he what about the... Oh, even a Dire Wolf Alpha would win. <laughs> so many ways to find two damage. Yeah. Not even. Doesn't even hit the Patron either. Wow. He wanted to. I think he just wanted to be him just for that. Like, he had damage. Board. Like, what? Wasn't that lethal on board? It's like yeah. two, no, two, no, was, uh, three. No, he was one off lethal. One off. Yeah. So he needed one ping. But he had to... Arcane Giant uh, Patron Warrior deck is. Mm -hmm. So many different routes that could have been done that turn. Oh, we, we see the Alec here, so... We already have an idea of what Shaman this is. Yeah. Thunderclaw Totem, or Thunder... Wait, is it Thunderclaw? Thunder the new one drop? I don't know. Oh, no, it's, Spearclaw, it's Spearclaw, 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 Spearclaw. Spear. I don't play Shaman, man. You gotta you got learn your names, man. Play I don't know. Names, Wait, am I supposed to just randomly pull Dryer Shift? Crap thing out of Jessica out Dyer of my butt. Hey, you did the other at, day? at least, at least I Spirit got plus. the got the hero power. Fire shift. <laughs> no one believed you that they had to check it up. Yeah, like, I know nobody way. on stream believed no me. No way. I know nobody on stream believed me. Even T like, two didn't believe me. I was like, Jessica what? from a druid side. Yeah, like what? I'm gonna have to Google that real quick. You know. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> chat was like, he's correct. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> what? Yeah, I would like that as well. Although, like, we were, like... Although... Do you use Lightning Bolt here just to get that, uh, mana discount out of the way? It's oh, not sure. like you're... No, it's, you're not like, play... yeah, it's not like you're playing anything. Well, you, maybe you do want to play Think of Below next turn. So maybe it was correct to just use the Rock Butter. It, I, I don't think it really matters too much. And plus, you have so many other cards in your deck that could just combo with it anyway. Like, Flame Tongue uses all your mana for that turn. Like, turn 10, Flame Tongue and, uh, Alec here. Like... Probably the second best, you know, combo in the deck, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I, I like this play from Santi Phoenix here, although it does burn like a whirlwind. But yeah, it clears the mana tie totem while you can also draw from slime as well. Like I was well, thinking of sliming just a totem, like the uh, totem itself and then just axing it, but this is a lot better. It saves you another charge of axe too. Well, when you look at his deck, his deck is filled with nothing but whirlwinds. Why would he want to waste uh, any additional damage on that uh, Stoneclaw totem? Like. Mm -hmm. Obviously, well, he's gonna end up yeah, doing it now, yeah, but, doing now, but yeah. like he had so many plays that he could do. Like he could even do it now, which I don't think I would. I, I think he could have actually waited. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's, no, that's what I thought too. Because he, he, like he just gave it away that he has uh, yeah. the draw in hand. Oh, true. Yeah, okay. The battle rage in hand. Like you know, a lot of people tend to do that. They'll go like, oh, I don't have anything. Oops, I forgot to hero power. You know. Yeah. A lot of people don't think about it. Uh, actually, look, this last set of prelims, there was a lot of uh, bluffing going yeah, on. Bluffing, yeah. Yeah. More but, than but, normal. But you know what's funny about those bluffs? You're probably going to crush them. But yeah. you have it the opposite way around. You know, you're probably going to have a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's funny, though. I, I, fi I find it a little funny, though. Like how they yeah, bluff well, and stuff like that is a yeah. I, I remember Chad just going crazy, going like, "Oh my god, why is he bluffing? There's no reason to bluff in this game. This game, game is all RNG, lol." You know, it's like, "Oh, I'm bluffing around RNG, lol, lol, lol." lol. But then, even after that, uh, one of the guys who ended up losing, he actually realized one of the ways that he could have actually won is if he bluffed that he had the damage with Rockbiter because he had Doomhammer. He just didn't have the uh, like he didn't want to use the Doomhammer to clear a, a top minion. He ended up using his pitches, but he wanted to bluff that he actually had the rock biter, so he could potential threaten lethal to make his opponent like armor up instead of actually going for his own lethal. Mm -hmm. Not seeing the um, what is it? Battle shout? Uh, 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 commanding shout. Commanding shout. Yeah, commanding shout. <laughs> like commanding shout would have been insane here, but I guess this will deal. He's gonna get to draw two cards and pretty much clear the board, except for one, two, one. Which I would love to save that second whirlwind for 
the patrons, so. Yeah, he probably will save it for it. He gets a lot of draws in the process, too, so it's <gasps> Oh, yeah, I forgot good. that the minion actually does come out. It doesn't die yet. He actually gets to draw three cards. Mm -hmm. But that's so much value. That's why this deck is so powerful. Yeah. And it's able to just continuously gain value out yeah, of both cards. Value. And then you get your giants at a low cost and just play it all in the end. Ooh, disgusting. Yeah. I played the second period of time. I definitely like it. It reminds me of Priest a little bit with the Pyromancers and all those like puzzles that you can use to actually yeah. most of the board. People are actually kind of going like, man, why didn't we think about this before? Don't worry about your board dying. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the major thing was is that we didn't have anything to gain extra value off of it. Like we didn't have um, like Arcane Giants, for instance, here. Like that makes, it gives you a reason to do that. You're not burning cards for no reason. You're actually burning it to make your guys cheaper mm -hmm. that you can play it sooner yeah i i definitely feel like this kind of um patron marking giant deck is easier than the preset back then and when you have two tricks on the board any kind of board clear from the shaman such as the maelstrom portal or even the lightning storm would uh, utterly just wipe up this board like if you were to guarantee this board would stick you probably execute like one of the drakes but it doesn't look like it's gonna do that and it's gonna be a full board clear pretty disgusting like yeah. those patrons go. Northshire Cleric. Okay, this one. Northshire Cleric. Okay. Well, yeah, you never think the Battle Storm Pole is dealing three damage to everything. LOL. Yeah, disgusting. And you wonder why people are taking out Forbidden Summoning from the deck. Oh, is this lethal? Oh, Not it lethal. is lethal. Yeah. Damn. That's exactly. Do you even need the portal? Just straight up lethal. Was it lethal without it with the yeah, double yeah, flank tongue? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that would have been plus four, plus two. That would have been plus six, plus the rock fighter with the claw uh, would have been. Okay, so six, six, twelve, and got six more out of the uh, two flame tongues because the one flame tongue goes in the middle, giving you plus four, and then you put the flame tongue on either side of the drake that's not in the center of the two drakes. Because then, if you're gonna keep it, you kind of know, like, you have to. Well, I, I don't know, like, it's weird. Like, you, maybe you you're the... trying to rush it to Yogg? <gasps> yeah. Because then, don't you want to mulligan your whole hand for the wild? But he gets it, but it's like. Well, yeah, you, you're kind of like. You're looking for wild growth, wrath. Like, swipe is a bit slow. You're also looking for mulch, usually. But I, I think we already know that he's playing Frozen's build that doesn't run mulch. So like you're looking for mulch to kill off um, flame and wreath faceless. Mm -hmm. But like several things that are going on. Not yeah. sure. I'm yeah. not sure you would ever yeah. really keep nourish in this oh. matchup. Oh, we actually gonna see a piece of sorry going to go the face with this. Oh, now we're gonna just better gonna swipe. Good. Yeah, better swipe. Maybe. Oh man. And then nourish is played next turn for two mana. Then he gets the hero power. Thalnos? Question mark. No, you can play uh, sp Pharaoh spirits. Oh, oh, but if you, if you drew the Tunnel Drog, though, you might actually wait. You might actually ah, just go yeah. Tunnel Drog. Yeah, the hero power into Tunnel Drog. That's fair. Mm -hmm. So we're still going to see the uh, Nourish and kill off the 1-1 one, one totem. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Ooh, ooh, another swipe, too. Advantage of gaining the extra mana. Then you get to do... No, I guess you get to develop a 3-3 three, three now. Mm -hmm. As uh, Frozen. Which race he's playing as well. I mean, I wouldn't blame him, because, like... The deck did just win a major tournament. <laughs> oh. oh, whoa. Man, how do you guys find room for Lava Burst 2 in that Shaman deck? That's a different Shaman deck, dude. It's the Aggro Shaman deck. But the Aggro Shaman deck doesn't run Thalnos, too. Oh, they, they, they added Thalnos in because of the Spear Claw. That's fair. <laughs> but yeah, that's the like Aggro Shaman. But that one that Bixie played is like more mid range Shaman deck. So, Feral Spirit seems pretty good here. The other route was he could play Thalnos and then Melstorm Portal, and then trade off the 1 1 into the Mire Keeper. Oh, something else to note there that, that Mire Keeper did not gain mana. Yeah, it developed a 2 2. Well, well that makes sense, right? Because then you can, you're able to not gain mana and just develop if you're picking to well, the second Norsh. Best option here. Yeah, th this is the problem that I was thinking, that Nourish was probably something that wasn't good mm -hmm. for you in the end. Like, you know what would have been really good right here? Moonfire. Yeah, Moonfire. Yeah. Were they able to clear that out? But, but then if he's going that route, uh, the Mire Keeper would probably ramp instead. But I actually... not. Yeah, actually, you don't really need the additional ramp in the Mire Keeper. You can actually develop it to do. It wouldn't be bad anyways. 
But what is your major key for doing? It died. Okay. So nourish. I think you have to medic so. Yeah. I think Yogg is your play next turn. Yeah, you need to go for the Yogg. I would go definitely go for the Yogg here. So you, what you do is you nourish and then you play teacher. Mm -hmm. Or oh, never mind. Now you could wrath. Or you could just hero power. Oh wait, you couldn't play your hero, hero power. What, what am I saying? Wait. No, he drew three cards. I was like, what? Why can't he play these extra cards? I thought he would have had two mana. But I guess he's this not afraid. No, I'm kidding. This is interesting. It's like no fear at all from the shaman having burst damage. Yeah. Oh. That was really good. Yeah, that's really good. You can use your It's a kill off the Drake. Oh man, being able to play Yogg early just in case too. Yeah, having that backup. Probably gonna get shut down right now and he's gonna use the hero power. Nope, JK. <laughs> it helps. He's probably gonna not play Thalnos. He's probably gonna go with Abusive Sergeant and attack for three more. Yeah, I like that. He's so low. Put his opponent on yeah. Yeah, you're gonna Set up a bigger board. Yeah, you're gonna force the Yawk too. I like it. Anytime. Or oh, yeah, you, you, guess... yeah, you can hit and then use Abusive uh, to. I just buy yeah. Or or he can do double, you know. Double, <laughs> you know, you know like, there's so many plays that we can't even cast right. Yeah. You know, or he could go like two to the face. Oh Ancient of War. Beautiful. Well I would have expected, you know, with lava burst in hand and Thalnos that you were actually just kinda of reaching for face at that point. But you were definitely wrong. Yeah. You were you actually were... definitely wrong. Well at least you picked up Ancient of War and Ancient of War so. I think it's lava burst time, and I think you're probably taking 10 here. Man, that hurts. What do you do about teacher, though? Hmm. You ignore the teacher? I guess it's you have Melsorm Pulse, you probably don't care. Maybe you kill off the 1 1. Don't even mm. care. Don't even care. Don't even care. Well, if time. you kill off the 1-1, one, one, then you're probably protecting more on your board, right? You're like, wow, it's definitely not time. Wow. So ballsy. <laughs> like, I, I know, just, I know. I'm just looking at this. I was like, holy crap. He's dead at any time. He's like, ah. You also have, have like six minions on the board, too. It looks like he's just going to roots off the 1-1. One, one. So it doesn't gain as many totems or as many creatures as I, I thought that he would want it, but, you know. Like, I, I would have probably wanted to remove as many 1-1s as possible because you are just dead to uh, Rockbiter. And he is getting a 2 draws. Oh, no Rockbiter. Oh, that's... Feels good. Potential lethal or a way to clear the board. Well, no lethal. No worries. Most no portal. Clear the board. Except for the feature, of course. Hit face five. Oh, you know, hit once and then use the face, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, doing now, this, now, now this is gonna be. Okay, I, I guess like that's the correct play, like you need to do that because the teacher's gonna hit face. Well, you're always gonna swipe, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's not swipe. Do you Drake or you just do Yogg? <laughs> Oh wait, wait, wait. you wait, wait, wait. nourish. How many swipes have you? You've already played two swipes, right? You've already played two swipes. Yeah. Am I? Am I? You can anyway? I play double jumps. Oh. Well, if they don't have taunt, oh, they'll be. That's good. He's going face. That's game over, dude. Yeah, that's game over. What, what are the odds of that? It's a six drop, right? It is. But to get a charge yeah, well. of four damage, that's good. Oh no, reckless rec rocketeer would have been legal. Too. Rocketeer. I'm like going through the list now. 